What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to tutorial 3. So guys, in the last tutorial, we have created uh, one very simple app or system utility app, which will uh, give you your um, system information like your Windows or Mac, whether you are running uh, it on uh, 32 GB RAM or 16 GB RAM, some basic information, some very basic information. But in this tutorial, we'll see how we can package that uh, GUI uh, into a actual app like from the from the dot py file to ux exe file how to do that okay so before i uh, start that thing so let me just give you guys some sort of uh, idea like what we actually achieved in the last tutorial and what we are planning to do in this tutorial so for example if i click it here and if i run it so hopefully you guys uh, uh, actually watch the last tutorial so if you see so uh, not sure no such file or directory so okay so actually it will be system info.py so we change it so let's see how it goes so actually this is from the last tutorials so whenever i click it here it will generate my system information and after that if i go back it will again uh, show this thing so now i want to create this in the form of exe file how to do that so that is about that is all about uh, we are going to discuss in this tutorial okay so that is the main uh, point of this tutorial so i have this thing updated over here if you see so create an exe for from python gui okay and and, and for that we need some prerequisite so this is our uh, application structure so html css javascript backend will be python and modules will be uh, platform uh, and psut so these are the things we actually i use to develop this app and apart from this thing so we uh, also used ill okay right e is a prerequisite and and to module required for packaging the py installer uh, for example we have now dot py file now i want to create dot py to exe so what what additional library or package we need so we need actually this py installer and how to install that pip install py installer so i, I am not gonna install this thing again because i have already uh, installed this thing so rather i will uh, show you guys how to do that thing actually okay so for that thing uh, let me just uh, uh, let me just increase the brightness okay so what i'll do i'll just open my this thing i'll just minimize this thing minimize this thing so this is my application directory so what i'll do i'll just try to open cmd.exe okay and let me show you guys one thing uh, then you guys will be able to understand whether I have this thing already or not. So I'll just try to install this thing again. Okay. So it will show me that it is already installed. Just wait for some time. See it is saying uh, requirement already satisfied. Okay. So I don't need to install that. So now just try to uh, watch this thing very carefully. And after that you guys must practice this thing. Because maybe 50% of, of all of you 50% uh, of the audience or the students will get some error so first fix this error try to do some sort of google search or stack overflow try to fix this error then you guys can move ahead for the next tutorial because if you're not able to package your application then there is no point so there could be multiple reasons whether your path is not set properly some dependencies are not there or probably you need to reinstall your system again so that is the a different thing but uh, i will highly recommend you guys to fix this thing so that is why i'm just uh, creating this tutorial in between just we have created one app and after that i'm just trying to show you guys uh, how to package that app into exe so that in the future videos whenever you are going to create an app you can create anything and this process is going going to be the same for linux mac or windows so if you are having a uh, linux system you can try the same thing if you are having a uh, mac os you are also going to have the same thing so depending on the system where you are uh, like actually where it, you are actually running this thing it will be give you, uh, going to give you the relevant uh, like package file for example for windows it will be .exe for mac it will be app or linux it will be uh, that executable file .ash is something okay so let's run this thing so this will be python okay then minus m then il actually i am already in this directory so i have to give this name okay so it will be sys tem info dot pi okay and our actual executables is this one and our uh, all 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 html css are inside this thing and javascript so i'll just going to write that thing 
so this is the like um, this is the actual notation of syntax of writing this thing so first will be the python file main python file and after that you have to write this thing so if you hit enter so you will see the magic now okay see it is running okay so just give it some time let's wait for some minute maybe two three minute and within that it should be completed okay it's working fine so i'm not gonna like stop or pause this video because this is going to be very like very important uh, these are the very important steps so probably you guys will face some difficulties so later on you can uh, like you can coordinate with me and i will try to fix this thing whether we might need to do some sort of google search or stack overflow or github forum or whatever but try to fix this thing first if you are facing anything or, or or in case if you guys are not facing anything that is definitely fine but before we move to the next tutorial or next project i want you i want all of you to fix this thing that your system is uh, perfectly okay to package any application okay so that is actually important step and i also face many errors and after that i did some uh, reinstall and in you know, uninstall reinstallation of some packages mostly this py installer and after that it is actually okay so probably you guys have also have to do same thing but those are running on mac or linux for them and also it will be very easy but i can also show you guys in the mac but just because most of my students are running on windows so that is i'm just switched to windows and just to give you guys the actual uh, look and feel of the way this thing on windows cause maybe i don't know maybe most of you uh, like send me the feedback that i should run this thing on windows but you guys can uh, drop me and come drop me a comment that you guys also want the same video to be done on max so i can also try to create the same thing but but uh, trust me guys the process is same actually there is not much difference not a single difference so you have to go to the folder for your mac and linux and you have to run the same uh, command that's it okay So it's still running. Just wait for some time. I know it is boring, but you can't help much. Give it some time. Let's see. okay i think the last part is uh, actually being executed now so hopefully it will be done in few minutes but the the actual exe file size will be uh, like uh, maybe more than 100 or 200 mb so if you see there is a file created with disk so your executables are uh, located inside this folder 
so once this is once this is uh, this process is completed i will try to uh, show you guys that thing as well so i can do it now but i'm not sure whether this is getting some error or in between if i try to open this folder or not so probably some some error lib not found i'm not sure whether this is going to work or not but we'll try So it is showing that um, build is completed successfully. So we'll try to open this disk folder. See, this is a file with this name. And if I open this thing, so all packages are there. So we have to find systeminfo.exe. So this is our exe file. Let's try to open this thing. Okay. See, let's see what is going to happen now. See, it is generated actually. So if I click this thing, it is generating my system information. Windows 10, this RAM is 32 GB, currently available this, use RAM this. So lots of things are generated. So that's it, it is perfectly fine. So now I'll show you guys one more example. So what I'll do, I will try to, hmm, I will try to do one thing. I will try to now show you guys uh, how to create only a single file. Now, if you open this thing, there are multiple files up there, right? So I want only one file, how to do that. So that I'll show you guys now. So the same command after this thing, we have to write this with one file, that's it. Okay, so let's run it now. So this will also take some time, maybe five to four minutes, not sure. But 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 for me, guys, trust me, it is actually four to five minutes for maybe in your system, it will take much time because I'm running on a 32 GB RAM machine and my uh, uh, system is uh, actually, the configuration is good actually. So that is why it is taking four to five minutes. So probably in your system, if you're not having that much strength on your processor and RAM, so probably it will take much time. Don't panic, don't, don't get afraid. So just wait and watch, okay? Okay, so if you guys see that this is completed successfully. So let me open this thing. So if you see there is only one file. So, and size is 210 MB. So everything is packaged inside this thing. So let me just open this thing. Let's see whether it is going to work or not. Probably sometime it will throw some error. So this is normal. If it is throwing some error, we need to debug this thing, that's it. Not sure what is going to happen. So let's see. See, it is generated something. Okay. Okay. So that's it, guys. So see, go back and you can close this thing. That's it. <laughs>